Hi, good afternoon, church. I am Frida, and I work as a nurse in an elderly medical ward, which was transformed into a ward to treat COVID-19 positive patients. There was fear every time I would enter into our ward, as we all know how infectious this disease is and how it had taken people's lives around the world. But whenever I was faced with challenges, I would always remember Proverbs chapter 46, verse 1. God is our refuge and strength, an ever-present help in trouble. Therefore, we will not fear. However, on April 1st, I started showing symptoms of a fe fever and cough. This then get worse on the next few days as I have started to have body aches and was unable to eat and drink alongside episodes of vomiting. The following day, I decided to go to the emergency department. I had chest x-ray, swabs, and a blood test. I was then transferred to a ward and seen by doctor. My blood result came back fine and I look clinically well and no treatment was needed at that time just to continue with paracetamol. However, the result of the swab came back positive. I was not surprised at that time but deep inside I was scared because I do not know what would happen next. There was fear but always but I always held on to my faith in God. I lifted up everything to Him. I always said to myself that God would heal me. He would not leave me and would also protect my family. I was transferred to a COVID-19 ward and then my condition worsened. My respiration had increased and I started to have shortness of breath. So I was put on oxygen. I became more unwell on the following day, my temperature remained high, my blood pressure was low, my oxygen saturation had dropped, and still had shortness of breath. Not only my chest x-ray and blood results had gotten worse, they also found infection in my lungs. At that point, there was no uncertainty of treatment. The only way was to continue to trust God because we have a mighty and a big God. He is the greatest physician and I believe that um, would help me win this fight was prayers. As prayers changes everything. I prayed to God trusting in Isaiah chapter 41 verse 10. Do not fear for I am with you. Do not be dismayed for I am your God. I will strengthen you, I will uphold you with my righteous hand, and I know my family, friends, relatives in the Philippines, and the whole church was praying for me. Along with continuous prayers and treatment, the Lord showed, started showing small miracles day by day, as I saw improvement in my condition, my fever, started to subside and my breathing started to get much better. This proves that praying together unites and strengthens us as a spiritual family and God would answer our prayers. During those times, I was very blessed to have friends who would come with Filipino food on their way to work and they would call to check on me as well. This encouraged and lifted me to continue to fight and be strong for my family. Truly, God is very faithful. After nine days of confinement, I was discharged from hospital and I had recovered now. Truly, God is but bigger than our sickness. I was reminded of the song, See a Victory. This song says, I am going to see a victory for the battle belongs to you, Lord. I would like to take this opportunity to thank my Hope Leads Church family, Hope Prayer Group, and my Life Group as well, and all my friends for their care 
and continuous prayers and for the overflowing food they have they had extended to me and my family as this made our faith stronger now in this experience i learned that i am just a human being who needs someone bigger than us to protect us we need god in all our endeavors let me end this with one of my favorite verse philippians chapter 4 verse 13 i can do all things through him who gives me strength